Hi guys, in this video we will discuss how to create a dictionary with multiple values per key. In Python, a dictionary stores the data in the form of key value pairs, where each key is associated with a value. Now if we want to associate multiple values with a key, then we can use a object as a value in a key value pair. Now this object can be a list, a tuple or any other object. In this example, we have created a dictionary where each key is of string type and its associated value is a list which contain multiple values. So this way in our dictionary, each key has multiple values associated with it. To fetch all the values linked with a key, we can use the subscript operator with the dictionary. Like here in this example, we want to fetch all the keys associated with key at. For this, we will call the subscript operator like this. It will return us the list of values associated with the key string at. Then we printed it on the console. Now let's run this code. It printed all the values linked with the key at in the dictionary. But what if we want to add more elements or more values to a key? It can be an existing key or we want to add a new key value pair where one key will have multiple values. For adding a new key, it is simple. We can just add a new key into the subscript operator and assign multiple values into it. And we can print the dictionary later. So if we remove these lines and print the dictionary, here we can see a new key has been added with the multiple values. Now if we want to add more values to an existing key, then that's a little tricky one. Let's see that with an example. So here we have a dictionary which has strings as keys and multiple values as are linked with a key in the form of list object. Now we want to add these three values with the key at into the dictionary. For that, first we need to check if the key exists in the dictionary or not. If not, then we need to create that and assign an empty list as value associated with this key. Whereas if the key already exists, then we need to add these value into the list associated with this key. For this, we have created a separate function. It accepts a dictionary, a key and a list of values as arguments. Then it checks if the key exists in dictionary or not. If not, then it will create an empty list and assign it to the key value pair and add that key value pair into the dictionary. So after this line, even if the key does not exist in the dictionary, but now key will be added into the dictionary. Whereas if key already existed into the dictionary, then we will fetch the value associated with the key. Now that's a list object. Therefore we will call the extend function on that list object. It will extend the list associated with the given key by adding more values into it. So these three values will be added into this existing list. So now if we run this code, we can see that in the key value pair where key is at, three more values were added because we call the add values function here and we pass the key and the list of values as arguments in it. This is how we can add more values to a key value pair in a dictionary where each key has multiple values associated with it. Now let's see an, another example. Now this example is about searching for a value inside a dictionary where each key has multiple values associated with it. For example, we want to get a list of keys which has the value 10 associated with it. Or we want to know if there is any key exists in the dictionary which has a single value 10 in its linked values. For that, we will iterate over all the key value pairs 
in the dictionary using a for loop inside a list comprehension. Now for each key value pair, we will select the value of that key value pair. Now that's say list of values. Then we will check if our given value 10 exists in that list or not. If yes, then we will filter out that particular key. So this list comprehension will return as a list of keys whose linked values contains a single value 10 in it. Then we can check if the list is empty or not. If not, then it means that the value exists in the dictionary. Now we can run this program to check what's the output. It printed a list of three keys. The key is at and y. Now if we check key is has value 10 in the associated list. Similarly, key at and key y also has the value 10 in the associated list. So this is how we can create and manage a dictionary where multiple values are associated with a key. If you want to access the code which we have shared in this video, then you can go to the link provided in the video. That's the link of our website where we have explained all these examples and also provided the code for them. If you found this video interesting, then please press the like button and do subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.